So today is um, the day after we just had um, a ton of bad weather. Um, when I say bad, I mean, you know, several sets of funnel clouds running through the area. And there was localized flooding. You can look at these beans and tell this place got some hard rain and it flooded. Um, although it did help these beans pop up. There's mud all over the tops of them. Um, those are sunflowers back there. This was the wild animal food plot. Um, this time it's going to be um, beans and um, sunflowers with maybe a squash or two every now and then. But the reason I'm not doing the wild animal food plot here is because we're actually going to just plant um, some um, deer corn and stuff further out. I know you can't see that little swath of grass and stuff where they are. We don't ever plow that over. We don't ever plant that part. We actually skip that and go to the other side. So there's this whole swath of area where they can kind of hide out and be close without being close. And so we're going to um, plant a little bit over there. Way out there in the driveway from the porch of the cabin, one of our seed start trays is over there. So where are our little peat pellet thingamabobbers? Look, I can see the, uh, the plastic way out there. That should not be. But I mean, the wind was bad last night. So this is um, a bunch of uh, sunflowers. They're, they're, I think they're dwarfs. I don't even know now. Um, and the Alibaba is on this side. The Alibaba is going to grow enough to, hopefully, um, it'll grow enough to jump out the side. And I'll try to trail it around and shade this area here. And maybe I can get some of this grass to kind of die off after it gets, you know, no sun. Don't have to worry about things getting watered, that's for darn sure. <laughs> the bad part about using um, soil from the garden is you don't know what kind of weed seeds are in there. Luckily this kind of grass um, usually has like four or five parts and it has one central root area. So I'm going to pull this out in the next couple of days. You guys want to see a video of me pulling out grass? <laughs> And there's the repurposed soil bed. Look at those greens right there. I don't think that's kale. I think that is some kind of mustard green. Um, yeah, I think they're mustard greens. Some more of that grass back there behind those tomatoes. Those tomatoes jumped up overnight. Those tomatoes are probably not liking sitting in that water. That drain hole is covered in um, mulch right now. I'm going to have to get a screwdriver or something and poke a hole in that. See how much water that is. The hole's on this side. Well, there's all our trays. For the most part, our seed starts pretty much... You know, the heavier ones stayed in place, so I'm grateful for that. Um, nothing that it was plant plants yet got uh, knocked over. I'm missing a couple of uh, tomatoes. See those empty spots? These grapes that we have here are liking the extra watering. There's another seed tray out there. Um, that seed tray had greens in it. Collard green seeds are easy to come by, so I'm not going to fret that one too much. This green patch is mostly seed. Um, a lot of them are turning brown, which is uh, good so that I can uh, harvest them. I don't know if I'll do a, a seed harvesting video on, on greens or not. I think there's a lot of them out there that you guys might enjoy. But, I mean, if I'm going to spend a lot of time doing it, you know, may as well throw a camera on it, right? Those look ready. But then again, could be because the turnip got pulled out. <laughs> so, they may not be ready yet. 
but there's no more flowers on top and um well there are a few flowers left so most of the seeds are are going to be viable which will be good um that might explain why there's not that many bees around this area the bees have moved over to um the other side of the yard my gourd is missing <laughs> the whole thing is missing <laughs> it should have been right there in that depression you guys see that right there that is a paper roll um for paper that i put over there <laughs> one of them is missing we're gonna have weeds coming straight up they're already look at that look at those weeds they're like yeah boy freedom so the fertilizer i um threw out either washed away or it actually dissipated the way it was supposed to and dissolved um so that the plants could use it there's some that i guess didn't down there that gravelly looking stuff beside the corn look at that taking shelter underneath a leaf it's a wolf spider as cold as it is i'm surprised that there are spiders out here because the temperature dropped big time it went from 90 degrees to, I think it's like 64 right now. Look at that. Look at all those baby uh, gray zucchini. You see those on the end of the flowers? This bit, seriously though, I need to get in here and pull more grass. But look at those peas back there. I'm going to have a lot of peas to pull. Look at that. There, there's some already... Uh, hanging off there I need to get some stakes for these sunflowers they're starting to bend because that one that one's curved I hope I don't break it when I get a stake on it these guys took a beating they say there was nickel size hail out here I wasn't out here enjoying the hail <laughs> All right, I know that wasn't a real update. I just kind of wanted to look out here and see what the damage was um, from all the storms last night. See you in the comments.